Oh Lord. I woke up like this. I woke up like this. We flawless. Anyway, let's get into this video. Hey y'all, what's up? What's poppin'? It's Audrea. And in today's video, we're gonna get into some things. We're gonna get into some things. So within the lot community, not even like the sister lot community, okay? This goes, we're reaching into the traditional locks and under the umbrella of just locks, period. This is where we're going, okay? So first of all, here I am on a Sunday. I think it was Sunday. Minding my business. It might have been Saturday. I can't remember. Minding my business and lo and behold, Miss YouTube recommends a video. So I'm like, okay, Miss YouTube is mr tp locks channel so the video that he um made it was uploaded on june the 20th i guess that's sunday and saturday and the title of the video is dreadlock myths and misconceptions debunked i don't know why youtube recommended this video to me but i was intrigued i was pulled in and that's what you want. So YouTube, y'all need to be recommending my videos, okay? So I can, people can get pulled in and watch my channel. So anyway, I clicked on the video and within the first 10 seconds of the video, he wanted to debunk the rumor that locks are not for white people. That's true. <laughs> white people can't wear dreadlocks. That is the first thing you see when you pull up the video. And I was just like, what the hell? Ah, the ghetto. You know, cause <laughs> girl, you already know. But I was like, you know what? Calm down. Let me watch this video. I even commented on his video and he's a really cool guy. He already knew that like, honey, the girls is gonna be coming. Like he already knew. But here's the thing y'all. This is not a anti video, okay? I agree with a lot of things he said. I just wanted to do a reaction to the video. And no, I've already seen the video, so it's not a first reaction, but I just wanted to hit some high points on his video. If you wanna see his entire video, make sure you go on over to his page. I'm gonna include the link to the video in my description box because what I don't want you guys to do is take little things that I'm saying out of context because these are my personal opinions. I don't want y'all to do that. So I want y'all to go to his channel watch his video and then come back here because I don't want to play his video on my channel because he put a lot of hard work in his videos and y'all need to go get a man his views okay period girl you know I made some notes TP locks got a lot to say about locks and you guys we always compartmentalize ourselves I don't know if we're the only race that does this but you have locks or dreadlocks and then you have uh, freeform locks you have traditional locks you have sister locks you got micro locks you got inner locks it's just crazy how we just further segregate ourselves but that's a whole nother video but I just want to kind of hit the points that he made in his video and what my thoughts are on them he dropped some gems as far as like the history of dreads and go watch his video because I'm not gonna go in there and give you all the tea in his video but he dropped some gems and he was basically saying that you know, you may have been taught that, you know, the term dread means dreadful. Um, colonizers, as he's put it, said those things because our hair was dreadful to look at. But he went into like dropping some gems on the history behind dreadlocks. I get you. But at the same time, here, I'm from Louisiana, okay? I am 35 years old. In 2000, what year was I a junior or senior? In 2001, two, I graduated in 03. We still had a black queen, a white queen, black favorite, white favorites. We still had that in 2003. So yes, you might say that, you know, the history of dreads is this, that's the original um, meaning behind dreads, but from where I'm sitting and from, you know, the culture that's around me, I don't like when people call my hair dreads because of the negative connotation that comes along with it, you know? And then on the on the flip side, I get where he coming from because me and my husband talk about this all the time. The word bitch being a term of endearment, but if somebody else outside of your circle calls you a bitch, then it's a problem. But it's the same word. So I feel him when he says that, but at the same time, it's just kind of like where I'm sitting. 
you know, I guess it just depends. Like, I know people don't mean any harm by saying, oh, your dreads are cute. It's just like, I don't know. What do you think? How do you feel about the term dreads, whether it's a term of endearment or if it's something that is negative? Leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. The second myth he debunked was dreads are nasty or dirty. And honey, I totally, look, totally agree with you because my hair is so bossy. Like my hair got a whole boss attitude. My hair can get dirty, but so can like loose hair. If you don't wash your hair, if you don't clean your scalp, it's going to be dirty. Now, if you are a person that's not around our culture a lot, meaning that you don't really see black people or whoever that have dreads and the few people that you see so they may not take care of their locks and wash them and put the finest oils in them then of course your perception of people with locks is going to be they dirty just like when i got sister locks people were like in this area people were like what's that that's cute i like that now see i could wear that I can remember, y'all, I'm, I'm getting off tech. I'm getting off subject here, but I can remember back in 2009 or eight when I first went natural and like all of my friends and stuff, they would be like, I couldn't do that. Mm -mm. You would never see me wear my hair like that. Not gonna do it, period. And here we are at 2020, everybody got natural hair. Everybody curls popping, melanin popping, you know, all of this. So it's, you're like, would never lock my hair but then it'll be like 10 years later locks will be a vibe people are debunking that myth all the time by you know keeping their hair clean you got more youtubers more instagrammers more people on pinterest with clean flowy natural so like then you have men now like tp locks who's like educating you about locks he has a really good channel if you have traditional locks follow his channel but yeah definitely our locks are not dirty and yes we keep the flyers now this the one right here this is the one that i don't really agree with you tp lock simply because here's the thing i feel like as the original woman can we just have like that one that one thing that's ours that nobody wants to take away from us like that just 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 that one little thing like we we just want that one little thing this myth was along the lines of white people can't wear locks. <sighs> I just, I don't know. I mean, as a man, it's easy. I think as a man, it's easier for him to make that comment simply because um, historically, I mean, I mean, historically things were taken away from the men, but historically a lot was taken away from black women. So it's kind of like, <sighs> can we just have this one thing? Like, don't, don't be inviting people over here. I said what I said. You know, like we don't want that, okay, period. I can't speak for everybody, but I just feel like black women, black culture, especially black, black culture, especially from black women, like our culture, we are a wave, but we are the most disrespected woman on this earth. It's like, but we are the wave. Just, just I digress. You know what, period, let me run it back. Let's talk about Kim Kardashian and these whole box of braids, but, like fiasco that she had a few years ago. Black women have been wearing cornrows for years. I remember being in the eighth grade and I braided, I had my hair braided back and I had multiple rubber bands on them. And our assistant principal, white male, was like, that's against the dress code. Basically that's ghetto and we don't want it at our school. But at the same time, it's like, then you got, and, black, and you know, cornrows not being accepted in the workplace. The only time you can rock cornrows is stuff under your wig. That's acceptable. Then you got Kim Kardashian coming back, running it back. So I'm like, oh, these are boxer braids. And now it's a wave. And it's like, come on, sis. <laughs> Leave black women alone. Like, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I can't like, just leave us the hell alone period the next point locks are not professional some environments especially in the south you're you're still gonna have some prejudice when it comes to locks smaller locks i feel are more acceptable in the workplace in this particular region simply because i feel like it's less threatening um you see a black man with these big long beautiful vivacious juicy locks and people are threatened by that not that it's unprofessional 
is the fact that they're threatened by it. When my husband get pulled over, first question is, do you have a weapon? Like, I don't know any of my white counterpart males who have experienced that when they get pulled over. You're already perceived as a threat. And then you got this beautiful crown and it's like, that's even more of a threat. It's crazy how psychologically locks are a threat. Like that's crazy as hell. Not that it's unprofessional, but more so a threat. I think that the word unprofessional is just a politically correct way of saying, I'm scared of that. It's a threat. You know what I'm saying? So boom, that's how I feel about that. And his last and final uh, myth that he wanted to debunk was locks uh, can cause thinning. And I agree with him 100% on his point about that. He said, you know, that they're caused by like over manipulation, over twisting, et cetera. I agree with that. That's why me, my hair went from like two inches to where it is now because I don't do a lot of twist outs, updo. <sighs> I don't do a lot of manipulation to my hair. But when people ask me, how does your hair grow so fast? It's because I take care of it, I keep it clean, and my hair thrives. Like I don't be putting a lot of stress on it, a lot of pressure on it, okay? <laughs> you gotta think of your hair as like your personal garden, okay? It is an extension of your body. Just like you keep up your nails, your toenails, your skin, you gotta take care of your hair. Child, child. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you head on over to TP Locks' channel. I'm gonna leave his channel link in the description box as well as the link to the video that I had something to say about. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and I'm out.